Hello, welcome back to Tarot by Andy, Tarot Time by Andy. Thank you so much for being here. Today, I would like to do a spread on Kelly Ripa. This is my vibrational reading. Please do your own research for entertainment purposes and allegedly. Uh, I want to get an energy spread on her. But she just caught my eye today in the news. She was saying that she, she's never liked being on camera, that she feels her voice is grating, and she's never truly been comfortable with it. I can, I can kind of understand that because I'm not super comfortable with being on camera either. <laughs> yes, and I do feel my voice is somewhat grating also. <laughs> I understand that. Here we go. So, yeah, she's so cute and small. I'm not, I'm not uh, a fan of hers or anything. I do think she's um, quirky and fun. Uh, she's got, seems to have really nice energy. Uh, I don't feel anything negative coming off her in terms of dark personality at all. So I don't expect anything dark coming out. So let's just find out what we get here about her and her career. And let's see what it has. Let's just see what is in her, what does spirit want to say about Kelly Ripa. Please be clear. Kelly Ripa, some energy on Kelly Ripa. Here we go. Okay, so this really, here we go. Moving forward. Yes, she is chariot girl. Just keeps pushing forward despite what she says. Because <laughs> it's gone over for what? 20 years, she said. She says she's been saying it for 20 years. Well, yeah. It's looking like it's not going to change anytime soon for, from the first poll anyways. I'm going to take this one because it's sticking out. And so I feel drawn to take it. It makes the family unhappy. That's why. It's a lot of, a lot, taking a lot from her. It's so early in the morning she has to show up. Uh, then I'm going to take this one here. Yep, and it affects the kids. It affects the children and the family unit. So that's why. Okay, so let's get some more energy on this. She is burned out. What will she do? Let's clarify the chariot. Will she, what will she do? Will she keep forging forward? Will she keep forging forward? Will she keep forging forward? Here we go. Lovers. Doesn't look like it. Ah, Hierophant in reverse. Hmm. She just might break away because that is, you know, institution. Hollywood is an institution in its own right. And we have here, she doesn't really need the money anymore. She's totally stable financially. It's not needed. It's looking like she may want to break free. I'm going to go straight for under the surface for here. Yeah, strength in reverse. So she's not feeling strong about continuing. She's really, yeah, she's, she might be ready. 20 years. And we have here the high priestess. So that's that inner knowing, that high intuition. So she's going to listen to her intuition when her gut tells her it's time. When the gut says it's enough's enough, she's going to put in her final, final say and uh, let them know she's done. So, yeah, that's, it's looking like it. Absolutely. Hands down. Uh, let's go for the Ten of Cups in reverse how it affects the family. In what way does it affect him? Well, you know, she's got to get up. I think she gets up like at what, four, three, four in the morning to head to the studio. I mean, just insane hours an insane time. I mean, I know they're not there daily, but they do multiple cuts in one day, but that's a brutal day. It's, it's just brutal getting up that early and trying to live your life like that. I can't imagine. So here we go. So let's clarify the Ten of Cups in reverse. Clarify Ten of Cups in reverse. There we go. Queen of Wands in reverse. So she does not like the fact that she is not there for the family, being the, you know, the creator. She doesn't get to start things. She doesn't get to, to be the initiator of family events. Probably someone else is doing it because she's got too much on her plate. Um, and so this probably, this puts her in a position where she's not feeling super thrilled and excited, uh, not being in this position. She doesn't like being in this position either is how I feel about this. And so, yeah, the queen of wands in reverse is someone who's, who's going to get angry more often, lose her temper more often, uh, because it puts this family in a reverse situation. So it upsets her. It upsets her because it upsets the family. And then we have here, and it would be no loss to her, and it would be no loss financially either because she's, she's made so much. Let's go straight to the under the surface here. Yep, she's a mother. She feels she really wants 
to embrace that. She wants to be more uh, involved with the family, being more of the starter, the you know initiator here, uh, instead of having to constantly focus on the other aspect of her life because that just takes too much of too much out of her life. So yeah, it's the mother card here, yeah, the mom card. So yeah, okay. Let's clarify how it affects the children. Page of Cups. That's how it affects her kids. They're older. They're getting older. I know her daughter's um, in her 20s or something. So, you know, she they lost a big a big part of their mother in, in a lot of regards. So here we go. Let's get the Page of Cups. Page of Cups. Please clarify Page of Cups. Here we go. That wants out. So Knight of Wands. Yeah, so the father here is the one that's the go-getter, the, you know, the fire starter. He's the one that does all that. Uh, Mark does, her husband, Mark. So he's the one who's that go-getter, that let's just do it. You know, let's go do this. Let's go do that. And that kind of bums her out. That really bums her out because here she is in reverse. So that kind of bums her out. And we have here, yeah, in the Ace of Wands in reverse, you know. So, and it might affect her even being able to participate because the Ace of Wands in reverse. So, she, and she's not able to start anything. So, yeah, and it, it creates a, a lack of enthusiasm. There's a lack of enthusiasm there because maybe mom's not there at the function or whatever's going on. So there's a little bit of a lack of enthusiasm because the whole family unit's not together. And then it creates an Ace of Swords moment which could be sharp words. Um, the ace of swords could be intellectual um, communication that could be sharp, but it's also intellectual success um, because she is a vocal speaker and that's what's made her um, famous, but she might want to cut it out. I'm going to go straight to under the surface here. You know, she, yeah, she doesn't want to be imposed anymore. She wants those ties to be completely released. Uh, she, the action to overcome is something she hasn't been able to currently do and she would like to eventually do that obviously and you know upright this person wants to overcome it here they're actually overcoming it so if she does it she's going to do it to spend more time obviously with the family let's go into the center of the situation yeah and it, this is someone who's taking who's contemplating totally contemplating and fig, trying to figure out which path which road to go down uh, the legs are crossed that is at crossroads uh, so she's at crossroads she thinks about that crossroad often uh, due to the kids which crossroad should I go down now which road should I go down uh, she said publicly she knows acting's out uh, and what could she possibly do now at this point in time you know so it's like which road would she go down what is she going to do you know once she quits uh, what do you do? So she's in this hangman, self-sacrificing position of not knowing what to do next. So, yeah. Okay. So nothing dark, like I figured. I figured there was nothing dark. She's just, I think she's a pretty authentic individual. What you see is what you get. Um, she doesn't seem to change her character at all. Um, she just um, is just very down-to-earth person. So let's find out some more on the family unit or her marriage. Let's go to her marriage. How's the marriage holding out? They seem to be a pretty solid couple, but we could be wrong. Let's find out. How is the marriage? How is the marriage? There we go. Well, they help each other quite a bit. They give and receive help. So they help each other. So that's a, that's, that's a, um, a good give and take relationship. And then we have here the circle of support. So they support each other, and they are abundant. Yeah, happy family. They're pretty happy still. Wow. They're like a real successful couple, man. They're like very envious. That's an envi enviable marriage right there, the two of them. Here we go. Let's get the abundance. How abundant do they feel? How abundant do they feel? Tell me about this abundance. Here we go. So we got here. They are at crossroads. Uh, trying to figure what they can do here with the two of wands. So they're basically at a fork in the road. So they know they're at a fork in the road right now and teamwork expansion in reverse. And they're, they're contemplating when to pull the plug on her career because they're so abundant. Now let's get the circle of support. Circle of support. Get some more energy on the circle of support. More energy on the circle of support. There we go. 
and we have here the king of swords so it, it would be him saying can you cut that out now you know it would be him with the, with very in a very intentional male leader uh, supporting her decision and then we have here to leave yeah to walk away when the timing's right for her and you know it's a little bit of a triangulation situation between with the marriage and the job uh, I call that my triangulation card let's get the giving and receiving help so he's fully supportive he's like totally on board <clears throat> what a nice couple here we go it's nice to do spreads on nice couples <laughs> here we go uh, yeah here we go so what we have here it would be the giving and receiving help is over the children you know uh, because the kids are full of words they're you know secretive they're they're young kids so it's a page card so they are they help with the kids and then we have here and so does she she does step in obviously she does have to voice her opinion she gives her opinion quite often and then she has to leave to go to work you know she's always having to leave and that's you know the six is harmony she leaves in a harmonious situation she speaks her word harmoniously to the children she's got lots of help but it makes her not feel wealthy we got the queen of pentacles in reverse it doesn't she doesn't need it anymore so she's not feeling abundant by doing it so she doesn't really like leaving the situation so that's how i feel about it yeah doesn't really want to be gone so she's 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 done enough she's paid her dues she's made enough and how much money do you possibly need right so she feels pretty satisfied so that's nice okay let's get some under the roses under the roses Kelly Ripa, here we go. Yep, it's eating at her. It's eating at her. And she feels like she always has to be aware of her surroundings. And that is institution, too. And we have here money. Yeah, it's eating at her that she always has to be aware of her surroundings uh, for the money that she's making and the lifestyle that she created. But it, it's, it's the fame. It's the fame. And she likes to be happy. She is a pretty happy individual. And we have here also that she does whip herself over it, though. She does self-flagellate over the whole being in the industry and what it, what it entails. Uh, doesn't always enjoy it. Like she said, she ends up self-flagellating. So let's get some more. Um, when will she do it? Let's get some timeline here. I'm not really good. Tarot's not great for timeline, but let's find out. Let's give us a timeline. Will it be any time soon that she walks? Will it be any time soon that she decides to walk? There we go. Ruler in reverse. So she may not be in control of the situation. She has to live out a contract. She's got to wait till the contract's up. And veiling the situation. And hamster wheel, the job, the career card. So she's kind of stuck because she's not totally in control. So that would be a contract. Uh, let's calculate that. 10, 23. Comes to 30. 30 comes to 8 of diamonds, cornucopia. She's made a lot of money. That's that, that total 10 of cups, wealth. So she, she, she reached that. Yes, total cornucopia. And the 8 of diamonds. So let's see, a diamond, I'm going to do it this way. Uh, a, a diamond, okay. That is years to months, years to months. So eight of diamonds, years to months. So it's, that would be either eight years, that would be more than likely eight months or eight years. So it's either eight months or eight more years being a pentacle. So she's gonna, she's stuck in there for the contract. It, it's gonna prop, more than likely, it's probably gonna be eight years. I, I, I wouldn't see it being eight months. Maybe it will be eight months, but more than likely eight years another eight years so I don't know how these contracts work I don't know about her contract but that's what the cards are saying uh, let's get some Kipper Kipper on her contract let's get some contract information contract give me some information on the contract contracts making her very wealthy great fortune or on the contract on the contract we have here oh, and more wealth <laughs> Great fortune, sudden wealth. Oh my God. How do you walk away from that? Yeah, here we go. 
<clears throat> and pathway. So eventually it is going to, it's coming. It is, it is, she's, the light's coming to the, you know, the, the end of the tunnel's here for you. Don't worry, hon, it's coming. You made your wealth, you made your great fortune. Here we go, another one. And she's got her husband to think about. So yeah, under the surface, what do we have here? It makes them feel poor because they've got so much. It, it, it's, it's, it, when you get to that level of total wealth, um, I suppose the poverty mindset is from the lack of freedom because you're tied to the contract, you're tied to these early mornings and the job itself would create the poverty mindset. Not that they actually have poverty because they don't. That would be just in that sense. And then we have here uh, thief. So yeah, it's like stealing your time. You know, it's, it's taking their time. So it's the time factor. Um, the poverty mindset and the thief is someone coming in and taking your time. He, he feels kind of cheated out. He's kind of getting tired of it uh, because they have reached such great wealth that they will never need anything ever again. So why continue? It is time to pull the plug. So yeah, it's her husband really is, is, is tired of it. So, and so is she. So it's looking like it's going to happen. Yeah. I mean, naturally it will come to an end, but uh, probably sooner than what they want uh, because she has had enough. Yes, she has. Let's pull a few more cards. How does the contract, how does the studio feel? How does the studio feel? How does the studio feel? How does the studio feel about this? How does the studio feel? Whoop, there we go. Justice. It's going to be a legal situation, cause and effect. And so, you know, bottom line, contract. And under the surface, it's made you rich, made you rich. You got, you got your abundance here. <laughs> so it's down to the contract, you guys. Yeah. All right. I hope you enjoyed this. Until next time, like and subscribe. Bye.